If you have uh, 35 kids who are here, which is less than what you're currently working with, right? This would be less. If you have 35 kids at 300 a month, you're, you're at six figures. When you get on a call with parents, and it sounds like if you're closing 50% of people over a phone call, your confidence is pretty high, right? Mm -hmm. You feel like you know what to say, right? I know my product, I know Yeah, me. and that's the thing, is when you understand your product, when you fully get that, it's easy to sell, all right? But this is where I wanna dive deeper because you fully get your product, you feel like it's easy to sell. If that's the case, don't you feel like we can make it make the product better and make the product more expensive? Mm -hmm. Where it's a bigger investment for parents? What do you think? I know. Cool. I think I know. Cool. So this is where, yeah. this is where a lot of coaches have, I would say limiting beliefs. This is what I used to believe. I used to think my value was $15 for 90 minute session. Right, fifteen dollars for an hour and a half. When I started, it was free, and then it was fifteen bucks for ninety-minute session. Mm. Now, if I did, let's say I did ten of these sessions every day, right? I would make one hundred and fifty dollars. Right? Most people would love to make one hundred and fifty dollars a day, but that's physically impossible. Right? So if I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one session, and that's what I was doing, one-on-one -on -one session, this was not a group, right? That means I'd have to work more than 10 hours a day making 150 bucks, <laughs> right? right? Really difficult to do. How could someone physically do that for a week? They can't, right? So then I started to realize, well, I need to make my program better. I need to offer more value I need to obviously raise my price. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna be this $15 trainer for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And it took me time to transition from here and change this to creating the best product. And what's your favorite, I mean, you have an iPhone, right? I have an Android. Android, okay, cool. I actually like those better than an iPhone. Um, oh my God, I can't afford uh not yet. <laughs> gotcha. I making my $10,000. <laughs> cool. Um, so if we think about the best products out there, I like, I mean, if you look at Apple, if you look at any like really quality product, number one, they know their product inside and out. When they sell it, they make it very easy to understand. Mm -hmm. And the experience of buying it is painless. It's like really easy. Um, and at the end of the day though, they're gonna price things out based on the value that it provides. So their Apple computers are very expensive for most people, but those things don't have irises. Hey, those things last a longer period of time. They're high quality. And if you look at your training business, it's the same sort of setup. It's like, you already have a quality product. If we make it better and we improve it, when that happens, we raise the value, raise the value, we raise the price. Those things meet together. Mm -hmm. There's too many people that they, they'll listen to one of my podcasts or something, they'll be like, oh, well, I'm just gonna charge more money. Well, you can't do that unless you make your product better. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So we wanna go from, from what you're offering right now, this is, the, this is the challenge, from what you're offering right now to the best thing in the world. And this is, this is where, if you think about like the best thing in the world, if that's located in Houston where you're at and there's parents who know about it, how much easier do you think it is to get to this level? It's very easy. Right, and if you know the product inside out, if you believe in it, and that's the thing, if you really truly believe in what you're selling, you can sell something for more expensive. 
right? There's coaches I'm helping right now. Like I told you earlier, there's a guy selling a $1,500 a month program, right? I was doing $15. That's like 100 times more than what I was doing, right? right? And why? Well, his program is the best in the world with what he does. There's no one's going to compete. He offers the most value. He gives kids the most attention. He gets the best results. And so what we want to think about here is we don't want you to end up working more hours because that's where if you start to work a lot more hours, that's where you run in this rat race that most coaches fall into. We don't want to do that. We want to work less and help more kids have a bigger impact during that, those hours and profit more. So how are we going to do that? Well, we have to look at what you're currently offering. And I wrote down earlier, $100 a month is your uh, AU team, right? But let's just say that that's a, let's just say that's a program that you're offering, right? right. That's so it's a program. if we went from 100 and we know that this is quality, we know this is good, kids are getting great results, parents can't afford that, right? Everybody has hundred dollars a month. I don't care. I don't care where it comes from. I could go. I could go make hundred dollars right now, just selling water bottles on the corner. Right? Everybody can do this. So this is a. This is an easier access point for parents, right? And when your product is high quality, which it is, right? They're gonna want to stay at this price point. They like it. It's comfortable. Mm-hmm. They're getting great value. It's all, it all makes sense, right? And it's funny, when I drive to the office, there's always, I, I normally count this in my head, I see how many Teslas are, are driving on the highway. And that you, like three years ago, there was like maybe a couple people in my city who had that. Now it's like becoming more of a common car. And those cars are expensive. They're like 60 or 70 grand, right? So if you think about, well, there's people who can afford high-end products, and then there's people that afford a Toyota Corolla, like an average car, right? Well, why are people paying more, right? Why, why do people buy the Lamborghini? Why do they buy the Mercedes? Why do they buy the F-150 when they could just buy something cheaper? Like, why, why do they, why, why do you think they, Spend more money. I think for quality. Okay. I think the thing is too, if you're gonna pay more, you're gonna get more for your buck. Right. So they're gonna get quality more. They get more quality. Right. So the higher quality, the better it is, the more expensive it is. Right. So this goes back to my point here. This is already great. Right. That's great. If we look at, can we have a program? that's better than this. And the reality is everyone's program, no matter how good it is right now, it can always be better. Like my consulting program I have with coaches, I feel like it's great right now, but it's gonna get better. Like every month it improves, the results get better. Um, And so here it's like, this is where I want you to really think outside the box, okay? If you know you have the best program in Houston, Texas, If Tim Duncan decided to drive to Houston and try to start a business, he couldn't compete with you. Like that's the level I'm talking about, where it's untouchable. You offer the most value, you get the best results, kids are going to play college basketball, you've already accomplished that, right? Uh, We look at just the overall professionalism of how the program's set up, just the quality. Like the quality is better than everything else out there. If that's the case, right, then what could your new program be priced at? At least more fifty. Cool. So why would it only be fifty dollars more? Because um, I would I would want it to be gradual and not just a huge jump like whoa you went from 100 to 200 coach you doubled the price what happened you know i would i think it would be some discrepancy if it jumped too far right but if you jump a little bit it's like okay i've been paying this much already 
I'll pay an extra 50 bucks. It's worth it. I like the program. My son is getting results, so my daughter is getting results. That's fine. But a big, huge jump, I think, as a parent myself, and money I'm paying on his dollars, man, this is a lot. Wait a minute, the product is good. He's only went up, he only went up a couple bucks. I'll, I'll be more so to give you the extra 50 than I would an extra 100. Right. Totally understand. I'm going to play devil's advocate. Okay. So what if this program is twice as good? Mm. Then it's worth, it's worth twice the amount. Okay, what if it's 10 times better? Mm. It's worth 10 times the amount. All right, so this is where, this is where we have to think. Wow. Right. This is where we have to think. The price, like we have to kind of throw the price out the window and say, because right now you're, you're trying to compare it to this. Right. And if we move this, because this number right now could be 300. There, there's coaches on the hub right now that do group training for $300 a month. Some do it for more. And when I do this exercise with them, I make them realize, well, if, you're, if you make your program better, higher quality, twice as good, three times as good, like sure, not everyone's gonna go buy a Tesla, but people are buying Teslas, mm -hmm. right? It's proven people buy the best quality things. A small percent of people do. This is why when you look at it, let's say, all right, and I, I don't wanna make up this number because I want, I want you to be the one that commits to it. But if this program was three times as good as this, all right, what would the price be? Three hundred a month. All right, so there you go. Okay, now if this is $300 a month and we're on a phone call with parents and we walk through what this is, how it's set up, how great of a program it is, and you go through the script and you customize the script. And then they're like, you know what, Eric, it's, it's just a little too expensive. You're like, okay, great. You wanna save $200 a month? Boom, all day long. Mm. See how that works? I'm not clear what you're saying. All right. We shoot, we, should, we always used to say we shoot for this and if it drops, that's where you want to, it's kind of like where you want to. Yeah. Anyway, kind of, sort of. Is yeah. That, is, am I? That's right, but there's those who are going to get this. Right. Those who want it, get this. Those who want this that can't finish to do it, they're gonna do this because you already told me, you already convinced me, this is awesome. Yeah, that's awesome, they love it. They love it. Right. Everybody's happy with that. That's why if we, yeah, that's why if we create an alternative program that's better, right? And we raise the value, we raise the price. Now you have option A and option B to choose from. Parents who want the most quality thing, they will do this. And I know they'll do this. I've, I mean, I remember the first time I, I put my pri uh, program, and I was telling you earlier, it was $15 a month. Mm -hmm. And then like, I remember I went to uh, 15, I went to 30, then I went to 50, and then I went to 70, and then I went to 100. And then it went from a big jump from 100 to 200, All right? And that's like, that was like per session, by the way. It wasn't per month, All right? But when I saw this example, it made me realize my program needs to be better. If I have a higher quality program, it will stand out over every other trainer out there who's trying to do this. And when that happens, I separate myself. And when I separate myself, I am, I am in my own lane. I don't have to worry about what anyone else is doing. And I can focus on getting the best results for my clients. And though, again, those who don't want to do this, they will fall here. So I want you, it, this little shift though, all right? Having this, all right? Let's say if you have this set up and we go back to what we talked about earlier with your goals, all right? I mean, if you have, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this sound really simple. And it's, it's not as simple as I'm gonna make it sound, but I'm gonna make this like very clear. If you have, uh, 35 kids who are here, which is less than what you're currently working with, right? This would be less. 
you have 35 kids at 300 a month, you're, you're at six figures. You gotta believe in your head. You are the expert. You are the guy in your town that is the best at helping kids. When you know that, don't you believe that you're worth more than $100 a month? All right, so what, then what's stopping you?